Mike G T B B B B B. This weekend, I need to tighten the alternator belt because I just went through a puddle and my charge light came on. And I've been seeing that on a lot lately since I got my car back from the mechanic. So I need to tighten that belt up. And I need to see some kind of universal antenna because I get no radio stations in this car. All right, I located the um, antenna wire that's right here. These are the power wires. The power, this is the female plug and that's the male plug that's for the power antenna but this right here is the actual antenna wire so let me try to get this off i already took it off it's pretty tough so let me see if i can get it gonna need something an adapter or a wire something that goes in there and this is the other side so this is the side that goes inside the car to the radio and this is the side that goes to the, the antenna They say take these bolts off inside there in the door jam and take those off to get to the antenna but I don't know I'm gonna try to find something different because that seems like a lot of work but if I have to do it I'll do it but let me see if I can find something that can go in there so I can have radio for um, just at least for right now. I don't need no power antenna. They say you can fix these things, but I don't know. Let me plug it in right now and see what it does. All right, I gotta put the phone down to do this. I'm just gonna plug this in and see what happens. I gotta turn the car on too, so. Let me put the key in the ignition and turn it on. Yeah, I forgot that the um, face to the radio is in the house, so I can't even do that right now. So I don't know. I'm going to try to find something I can plug into that and maybe run a, like a regular antenna. The reason why I can't use a regular antenna, the one that sticks up and stays up, is because I put a car cover on this car every night and that's not gonna work. I can't put the car cover on if the antenna's sticking up. On Saturday, um, I had to, well, I didn't have to, but my um, antenna stopped going up and down a long time ago and the people I ride with like listening to the radio. I don't listen to the radio, I listen to USBs. My plug, it's right here to my radio. This is USB, but you just, I don't know, if you don't got one of these, you need to get one. A radio that does, that accepts USBs. Uh, always Pioneers, my um, number one choice to go to when it comes to car radios. I never had a problem with um, Pioneer car radios but um like i was saying my um antenna died a long time ago and every time the kids get in my car or whoever oh we want to listen to the radio can't listen to it because the antenna don't go up so i bought this one i already installed it saturday i didn't record because um this is the box right here and this is the um, 
the one that I got, the Metra, what is it, 44UL15. Um, they had one that stays up all the time. I can't use that because I, um, I have a car, I put a car cover on my car every night. Um, so I'm looking around, I'm like, what am I supposed to do? I can't, I can't put my car cover on. So I'm looking for antennas that I can, I think the antenna that they do sell is probably like the factory one where you can, um, twist it off. Like it's uh, threaded so you can put it on and take it off, but I don't want to do that. So I'll show you guys what I um, ended up finding. This this um, number right here, the Metra 44UL15. I'm going to show you right now. All right, let me get out of the car. Like I said, I, I um, installed this on Saturday. But I didn't record because I didn't have the camera on me or my cell phone, so I couldn't record. But this is it right here. And they say it's locking. I don't know how it locks. I, mean, I don't even really care. But look. So now I'm able to... um put my car cover on with no trouble but um i just had it in my hand what did i do with it i put it in my pocket this thing right here it goes in it fills up the hole let me see if you guys can see it no you can't even see it in there but I'm having troubles putting this in the um, antenna wire and the um, actually I should take the um, I should take the power wire out so I don't have to worry about that because I don't plan on putting it in another power antenna but the the antenna and the power and ground for the power antenna goes in here and it just um, It just covers the hole that's in there that goes through the firewall or whatever it is, but it's really hard to get to. I just cleaned this off. It was all, all had like glue and stuff on it, but for somehow I got to get this in there to plug that hole because I don't need water getting into my car. And I'm not, I'm definitely not taking this door off. I am not taking no door off to fill this, so I'm going to have to either buy a different. They do sell body plug kits, but I don't know what size this is. And um, let me try to get it in there, but I'm not going to be able to record. I'm just trying to fill a hole. That's all I'm trying to do. All right, I ended up opening the hood, and this is the wire right here that I was talking about. These wires, I don't know which one is which, but there should be a power, a ground, and a remote. So I'll loosen this up so I have space to play with. Stick it down there as far as possible. And that antenna wire, you can't even see it from here, but need to plug that hole because I don't need water in my car so let me try to get it in there all right I finally got it but I got both wires in going through the um, plug and I guess I'm just gonna wire tie this right here to this thing for right now let me see if I can find another spot but I'm in a rush right now, so I guess I'm just going to wire tie it right here, like this, and call it a day for today, but let me do that real quick, I'll take a picture, let me try to show you the plug, you see the wires in there, let me get, see if I can zoom in. 
You see the plugs installed? But let me wire tie it and I'll be right back. All right, all wire tied. It's not going anywhere. Everything's good. So it's good I got that in. I was gonna buy a kit for that. Uh, plug kit, I didn't know what size plug that was. I was gonna find out at work, but it's in there. telling you every time I mess with this car I believe right now I'm at work I just got out and the guy um, guy at work told me that this um, well he didn't tell me to disconnect the the computer or the ECU he told me to um, disconnect the battery but since I don't want to lose all my settings and my radio I figured I just uh, try it like this so I disconnected the two plugs right here. The blue, the, this one with the blue on it. And this one with the white on the top. I see this thing hanging too. I asked somebody if this is supposed to have a, have a vacuum holes on it. They said no. So I don't even know where this thing mounts to. But it was just shoved up in there in this hole. But I'm gonna plug this thing back in and see what happens, see if it runs better. I was gonna look inside it, but I can do that another day. I'm trying to get home. It's like eleven o'clock at night right now. But I'm just gonna plug it in and Plug it in right now if the wire reaches. I'll check the picture and the, the picture I took earlier. The blue one goes here. I heard a click, so it should be where it's supposed to be. And the white one. Kind of hard doing this with no light and no, only one hand. All right, they're both in there. They both clicked. Should be all set. Now I gotta put it back in this sleeve thing. I should have probably did that first. Let me put it back in and I'll, let me see if I can prop this thing up. Yeah, it doesn't look like that's gonna happen, so. I'm just gonna slide this thing into the sleeve. All right, so I got it back where it needs to be. Um, all, you had, all I had to do was slide a computer down into this case and put this over it. This piece is separate, it's two, two separate pieces. And I put the little thing in there to keep it where it needs to be and I put the screw in it all right so I just disconnected the computer or the ECU whatever you want to call it I disconnected that for a half hour Let's see if this car starts up I'm gonna give it a little bit of gas I just pressed it a little bit I'll start it up. Fine. I don't know, but I'm gonna make it home. I had to come back to the junkyard because, uh, for some reason, my speedometer cable went out on me again. I'm at this junkyard, and this is what I'm putting up with. So, I'm definitely not going that way.
This looks better. But, yeah, my speedometer cable messed up again. And I'll show you where it messed up. Um, I think it's the box. The box is binding up. And, um... Hey, squeeze in this junkyard, dodging these, uh, all this water. But I think that box is binding up and messing my cable up. So I'm coming to the junkyard to see if this car, the car that I um, took a lot of pieces of, I'm, I'm going to see if it has that box on it. And if it does, I'm going to grab it because I need it. Because I can't keep changing these, um, can't keep changing these speedometer cables. They're cheap, but watch out for where you're walking. Come on. But turn you guys around, show you guys what I'm seeing. Hopefully, this car has the cable on it. I think that cutlass is the same one that was here before. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to check that out on the way out. But I thought it was going to be way worse with all this mud since it's been raining. It's been rain it rained earlier. It just stopped not too long ago. Um Yeah, I thought it was going to be way worse than it is, but that's good because I didn't bring my boots. And I don't even think this cut was even here anymore. It's not here anymore. Damn. They got rid of it. I heard that car. I heard that car. Which one? I uh, don't want this one. Okay. I mean, I'm the other one. The other one. I'm the other one. Right? Yeah. Wow, it's not even here no more. The cutlass is gone. So I came here for no reason. But I'm going to check these old cars and see if they got one of those boxes on them. I see the Caprice is over there and another Caprice. Wow, they got rid of the cutlass on me. Mike G T B B B B